Hello everyone, in this video I will show you guys how you can craft a bow for your exploding totem build. Step 1. Buy a bow, Mara caps are preferred, but if you cannot afford one, others are fine as well. That has a crucible tree with 25% reduced totem life, totem explode on death, and 25% reduced totem placement speed, skills that would summon a totem have percentage chance to summon two totems instead. If you buy one, always make sure that you can take both of these skills. If you do not have the currency to buy a bow that has both mods, you can leave out the 50% chance to summon two totems passive since the really important one is the explode node. If you find a cheap bow that has these passives and is hunter influenced, perfect. If the bow is not hunter influenced, slam a hunter's exalted orb onto the bow to make it hunter influenced. Step two. For this step, we will need metallic, rhodet, and etheric fossils, and powerful chaotic resonators. Roll until you hit and you have an open prefix. Percentage increased chaos damage over time, plus one to level of socketed gems, and poisons you inflict deal damage faster. Step 3. This step is totally up to you. If you hit the mentioned modifiers and you do not have much currency left and an open prefix, go to your crafting bench and craft plus 2 to level of socketed support gems on the bow, and you're done. If you want to invest more, try to get the item to a point where it only has the 3 mods that we want. Chaos damage over time, plus 1 to level of socketed gems, and poisons you inflict deal damage faster. If you roll off any of the nodes that we want, just go back to step 2 and try again. If you get the item to the point that it only has the 3 mods that we want, craft can have up to 3 crafted modifiers, plus 2 to level of socketed support gems, and 2 chaos damage over time multiplier. But there's always a chance that you get good suffixes that make the previous mentioned craft unnecessary. For example, if you get chaos damage over time multiplier already on the item, or if you get damage over time multiplier, the craft that we just performed is unnecessary. And you have to only craft the plus two to level of socket to support gems, and then you're done. Okay, six link it and enjoy. All right, that concludes the video. I hope you guys found it informative. I wish you guys the best of luck with your craft. Bye. Thank you.